Partly feeding into this, um, and I'm just mentioning this because some of you may be interested, in May this year we had a two-day think tank up in Canberra at the ANU, all interested representatives from NGOs but mainly mental health workers from researchers from right around Australia who were interested in prevention and we launched a new society called the Alliance for the Prevention of Mental Disorders. And our aim is to support a population health approach to the prevention of mental disorders and promotion of emotional wellbeing. Because within the mental health sector, there is no prevention and promotion element to it. And we know that the data, the existing data support the contention that prevention can be both effective and cost effective. And the new data, such as what I've shown you today, really suggests that actually if we target these population level risk factors, we actually may get some traction in the prevalence. Because we know that depression accounts for the largest burden of disability across the globe. So people who are interested in that, um, they can look at the website or they can contact me. We also launched last year the International Society for Nutritional Psychiatry Research. We had our first meeting in Tokyo in June this year. We've got another meeting slated for uh, April next year, beginning of April, but we're just getting a, a website built at the moment. Uh, but that's a really, really interesting society because it comprises not only psychiatrists and people interested in giving omega-3 fatty acids to patients, which is um, probably the primary interest of a lot of people within the society, but it has obesity researchers, cardiovascular disease researchers, people from nutrition science, a broad range of people are represented by the society. We have over 140 members from right across the globe, including from some of the most senior academic institutes in the world. So if people are interested in this too, at this point there's no cost for joining. It's really just um, set up to build collaboration, capacity to share information, raise the profile of nutritional psychiatry, and really importantly to encourage rigorous methodology because most of the research that's been done in the field of nutritional psychiatry prior to the end of 2009 is really, really bad. Lots of open label studies, lots of non-randomised, non-placebo controlled, etc. So we think there's a lot of utility in, in this field, but it needs to be done properly to have credibility. So this is what this society is really set up to, to uh, enable. Now I'm going to finish off with, um, this is really important. As I mentioned, most of the studies to date have been observational in nature. We have funding and are running the very first randomised controlled trial of dietary improvement as a treatment strategy in major depression. So it's a randomised trial in that, uh, hang on, participants are randomly assigned to receive either um, three months of individualised dietary counselling, feedback, education, etc., with clinical dietitians, or to the same schedule three months of social support with one-on-one -on -one with a befriending protocol. We're looking for, we need people with current major depression. We're running it down in Geelong and also up in Melbourne through St Vincent. So Michael Burke and David Castle are two of the CIs on the trial. And they just need to be aged over 18. They need to have major depression, although we'll confirm that with a skid when they come in. Um, and they need to be available for a three month period on a regular basis. Now we really, really need participants for this trial because until we can show that improving diet has an impact on people's mood, it's very difficult to just rely on the observational data. We really do need RCT data. This is the only trial we're aware of in the world and certainly the first. So if this is shown to be efficacious, if, if this is shown that we can improve the diets of people with major depression and it helps with their major depression, this will be a really, really important finding. So I really beseech each and every one of you, if you could, to uh, suggest to your patients who may be eligible to get in touch with us um, to participate in this trial. And most of the ones who've come in, they really enjoy it. It's not something that's onerous uh, and it's uh, you know, hopefully going to be really useful. So I'll leave it there. I have no idea whether I've gone over time. I hope someone was going to you know, I'm all right? Okay, good. <laughs> Very happy to answer questions.